What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Big Time Football Talk. Hope you guys enjoyed the first round of the NFL draft as much as I did. I had a blast. It was awesome to watch. And, uh, you know, I just want to talk about some of my winners. First winner, I got I have to acknowledge my team, the Detroit Lions. Absolutely great draft. The Hutchinson pick, I like it. Um, I don't. I don't love it. I think Hutchinson. Um, I think he'll be a very good player at the very least. I do not see a, you know a super high upside with a, with Hutchinson. I don't know if he can necessarily be like a Hall of Famer. You know, great player. You know, several time Pro Bowler. I think he'll be a very good player for him. Jamison Williams, bold move to trade up. Bottom line, Jamison Williams is a he's a game changing receiver. So fast, clock twenty three miles an hour by the Alabama. Uh, you know. Alabama coaching staff, just a tremendous football player in Jamison Williams. And it's, you know, it's a bold move. It's a move the Lions don't normally make and a, and a great one to say the least. And, uh, you know, it's guys like that that really, uh, you know, put so much stress on the defense and really help out an offense so much. It's it's why Tyreek Hill, the Dolphins gave up a heavy price to get guys like Tyreek Hill. Excuse me, game changers like that with speed like that are a big deal. And it's, uh, you know, there's there's only a handful of them out there. So, Great move by the Detroit Lions with those two picks, Aiden Hutchinson out of Michigan and then Jamison Williams, wide receiver out of the University of Alabama. New York, the New York Jets, what a tremendous draft. They get Jermaine Johnson, my number two player overall in this draft, my number one edge rusher at the 26th pick, and that's that's a hill I'm willing to die on. All right. I think Jermaine Johnson's the best edge rusher in this draft. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll be the first person to admit it. But the Jets getting him at 26, outstanding. Saw Ahmad Sauce Gardner, you know, one of the best corners, if not the best. I think I like Derek Stingley a little more, but Sauce Gardner is going to be a very good football player. Garrett Wilson, um, you know, that was the pick that I I probably like the least, but I think it's a you know it makes sense. Garrett Wilson is going to be a very solid player, and you know what you're going to get. He's a competitor. He's got great worth work ethic, and he's a guy that's going to show up day run, ready to get after it. And uh, you know he'll be a guy that Zach Wilson can really rely on. You know you you, you invested a lot in uh, in Zach Wilson taking him second overall. Get him some weapons. You know the offensive line, Makai Becton. Um, I don't know, but you got Vera Tucker at the guard position. The Jets, you know, talk about improving a football team tremendously. Ahmad Gardner with a fourth pick. Jermaine Johnson at 26. Garrett Wilson with a number 10 pick. Jermaine Johnson, edge rusher at Florida State. Garrett Wilson, the wide receiver out of Ohio State. And Ahmad Sauce Gardner, the uh, cornerback out of Cincinnati. Um, other winners, the Baltimore Ravens getting Kyle Hamilton, the safety from Notre Dame, and then getting Tyler Lindebaum, the center. You move off of Bozeman, you bring in a guy like Tyler Lindebaum, it's not a bad deal. And uh, yeah, the Ravens also, you know, big winners. I think Jacksonville is another big winner. Trayvon Walker, I think Trayvon Walker, very high ceiling in this draft. Also, um, they get Devin Lloyd at uh, – I, I I apologize. I forget what pick they took Devin Lloyd, but they did get Devin Lloyd, my number one linebacker. Most people's number one linebacker in this draft, tremendous football player out of the University of Utah. So day two, just about to kick off, guys. Make sure to stay tuned uh, for more episodes and clips from the from my show, and make sure to uh, you know watch the draft tonight. It's uh, rounds two and three starting at 7 p.m. on ESPN, ABC, and NFL Network. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned for more episodes and clips from the show. Till next time, peace.